Hi YouTube. Patrick here to talk to you about the Pelican V100 small pistol case. Now, <clears throat> it's a great case. It's probably a bunch of other YouTube videos talking about it. I haven't even Google uh, YouTube. Well, I have YouTube searched it, but I couldn't find what I wanted to find, and that was specifics about the locks. Now, this case doesn't come with a built-in lock. You need a lock padlock to go through there. I was going to go on vacation. Um, all this COVID stuff sort of put that on the X name. So I had originally bought these. Now this is a TSA approved lock and I thought it would work. Um, you know, they, they clip out, but I ran into a little snag. I'm gonna actually put this back in so I can show you what that is. A little snag is on the website, they talk about these holes for the padlock are eight millimeters. So you can't get a big old, big old tough master lock. You gotta get one that fits the eight millimeter. Here's a catch. Undo these. If that padlock is in there, I can open it. Enough for them to get mad. So I hunted and searched, couldn't find any answers on the on the interweb. Finally went and, and tried these out. Now these are a little bit more seven eighths inch. Seven eighths inch. Anybody who has this case and wants to lock it, seven eighths inch with a pad or this this lock piece diameter eight millimeter or less seven eighths don't go one inch because seven eighths is perfect let me show you how or let me show you why okay you got the channels right here okay you see that barely makes it through if i try and close it ah, i gotta put some some force into it now i've only done one side see I can still do that other side but the other side doesn't budge at all so second one mm. nothing <clears throat> you're not pulling these apart now they've gotten down other way let me show you what I'm wearing. And you would think that with having to throw them on so tight, they might be a little annoying to get off. No, they're pretty easy. All right. And then once you open up the Pelican case, ooh, pretty. Holds everything nice and snug. Um, I've got mine cut for obviously two magazines and my Glock 19. And one other recommendation I do have is, that's, let's say, hello. One of the recommendations to have you saw that right there come up when I pulled that out. I would get your top layer. You can see it's so poorly cut. Get your top layer. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm actually going to either double side tape it or hit this foam piece with some adhesive spray and then push it down so that it doesn't come up when I pull it up. By the way, it comes with a, a one a piece, a two a piece. And then a bottom piece of foam. So foam, more foam, more foam, foam on top, rubber seal for that. Water resistant. This thing is a vault. It's a very lovely case. I do love it. But I made this video. I talked really fast because I really want to just get over the fact that if you want to get a padlock for this thing. If you want to get a padlock for this thing, you need less than an eight millimeter diameter. And you need seven eight height. So that when you lock this thing up, it's locked up and no one's gonna open it. 